Good morning. Today I'd like to show you a little bit about how to use the draft workbench to uh, to move objects. Now, even though these the draft work it's called a draft workbench, you can move any object with this in FreeCAD. Um, so it's very useful if you have a, uh, in using assemblies and uh, and just in general moving things around in a, in a very precise manner, um, as opposed to the transform tool. You know, which which can work very nicely if you have if you have even increments, um, but can get messy if you're trying to you know work in a very precise manner. So we're going to start out with I'm going to go into the part tool, part design, and create uh, two. Let's create a couple of objects. Let's you know move this in a place that's not useful. <laughs> um, let's create a cylinder. Let's move that somewhere that's also less useful. So we have objects in arbitrary places. Now let's go over to the draft workbench. And uh, so the way the draft workbench works is you select the move tool right here. And you'll see it says moves the selected tool. You can either, your selected object, you can either select the object before you click it or after you click it. I'm going to select it the first time after. So I'm going to, my goal is to move these two cubes corner to corner. So I'm going to select move. I'm going to select my first object. And you'll notice how it didn't prompt me at all for that first object. So if that's something you need to know, it's not, it doesn't tell you. And now it's waiting for me to select my uh, origin point or the point on the object that I'm moving. So you're not really moving the whole object, but well, you are, but you're moving it by a single point. So I'm going to move this corner. All right. So now see, I see how it's grabbed that corner. And now you want to select your target point. And I'm going to select this target point right here. So now you see how it went right there. That's selecting the line. That's selecting the corner. That's selecting the middle of the line. That's selecting the middle of the plane. And you can see how the blue constraint changes based on what I've selected. So that you'll know you've got to, uh, in that case, it's actually not the corner. It's the end point of the line. I'm sorry. So it's a line with a dot. So I'm going to pick the end point. And the constraints that you have available are uh, a midpoint, a perpendicular, a grid snap. So that'll snap to points on the grid, grid intersection, a parallel line, uh, special. I haven't used that much, so can't tell you. Line end point. Uh, certain angles you can collect the center of some uh, snap to the center and that's not that's the center of a cube and I'll show you in a second that's a cube or um, or a circle uh, center point or any plane um, and some others and I encourage you to check those out this locks and uh, the this locks the snap constraints okay now these constraints aren't the same as sketch constraints they don't stay they're only for while you're while you're moving the object. So now let's do let's move the cylinder, and we're going to move that one differently. We're going to select it in advance. So now when I click on the move tool, it'll go right to the origin point selection. So now it, see it, how it's asking me for the origin point. And let's grab in this case the center of this. So you see how it's grabbed the center, and I kind of like and let's stick it on. Now they're all oriented the same way. I was hoping to like stick it off the center of the now let's just stick it to the center there so you see how it moved I was able to move that cylinder right to the center very easily um, this is a wonderful tool save you a lot of time in it and in my opinion you know in my experience I have fun using it so I hope you do too and I hope you enjoyed my video if you like it uh, click the thumbs up if you want to see more click the subscribe and make sure you also click on the bell that's the notification that uh, I've done a new video and that helps me out and helps you out. Thanks so much.